Okay, anyway, um, I am Pam Hemingway. I have been tatting for about seven years with a couple of years off for a sick husband. Um, I really didn't do much at that time, but that's another story. We are a G-rated room. Nothing beyond no, no funny stuff. It will get you banned. You see the one that says, I am Tammy Montgomery? Well, she will ban you if you don't behave. <laughs> she will, too, I promise. Um, we need you to like this video. Even if you don't, just like it. Subscribe. And click the bell so that you'll be notified when it comes live. Or when it gets put up on the channel. Or if somebody else does something, it does come up. Copyright. Hmm. Now that's a funny little story. As a kid, oh God, you can see my shorts and my shirt. Let me pull it. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go that way. I was playing with my camera. I was going to show you my face, but the problem with that is last night Sue was having trouble with her camera. Well, I started having more trouble with mine. So I'm not going to play with the camera. You're just going to have to deal with the table, not my face. Besides, it's not nothing anybody wants to see anyway. <laughs> okay, copyright. The basic rule is, if it's not yours, don't touch it. If you want to buy a pattern or you see something like, buy the pattern. It's not that expensive. Don't touch what isn't yours because you can get fined and put in jail. And don't go to jail. They don't sell you thread in jail. And they don't let you play with needles. So we don't need you in jail. But basically, if it's not yours, if you didn't create it in your own little pea brain like me, then don't touch it. It ain't yours. My mother used to smack my hand if I touched something that wasn't mine. Okay, anyway, that's enough on that. Everybody else, if you want more on the copyright, check out the last three videos. They were extensive. Okay. Um, if you need to email me, you can email me at the online tatting class at gmail.com and just put Pam in the subject line or needle. Either one gets my attention. Homework comes to me. And your homework today is to just show me what you've got for supplies to make sure that you're all set. Today we're going to play with a few things. Okay. This is a Pico gauge. It says right on there, there's a Pico gauge with ruler. Okay. But as a needle tatter, it's even more important than that. You need the one from Handy Hands. It's the only one I know of that sells it. If you have a needle and it's a supposed to be a size 5, hmm, yep, it's a size 5. Guess what? It won't go through. So that means the stitches on your needle, won't, that won't go through the stitches. It, it's, it won't go through, no matter what you do. This is why I like only handy hand needles. Let's see what this one is. This is a five. I only got fives. I can't see anything beyond that. Oh, another one. Won't go through. This is the one I need my pliers and stuff to work with. Because it makes it just too tough. Here's another one. We're going to say, nope, still not going through. I mean, you can't even push it through. You can't. It just won't go through. Okay. I know I got one that does. And there it is. This is my handy hands one. It has a blunt tip on it, too, so it doesn't stab you. But it will go all the way through. That is a good needle to work with. Handy Hand sells them, and they're the only ones I know of that really have good ones. Handy Hand. Here's another one. Okay, two good ones. This is just a prop to show you what I mean. See how that tube is... Oh, no. See how that... I got to update to update my chrome. 
I've been on here for four hours and now it's going to update. Yeah, no. Okay. Anyway, back to study at hand. See this tube? This is one size. That eye is so much bigger. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see that that eye is much bigger. So if you put stitches on that eye, on that needle, we're just going to do a few. I'm just to show you the point of the needle, not to show you the stitch. But anyways, and you put that through. To get that off there is like torture. You're going to rip your things. Yes, it's a crow tat hook. Actually, I think it's a rug hook, but that's beside the point. But anyways, I mean, you can't get that through there. That's just a waste of time and effort. Okay, let's get that back off there. Okay, that's done. So, anyways, that's it for needles. You really need ones that will go straight through. Because if they won't go through, they're not going to go through your work either. And they make it so much tougher to work with. Scissors. I have spent buku dollars on scissors. And so far, the best one that I've got are manicure scissors. They've got that little curve to them. So you can get real close to something, but yet not cut something else with that, with the points. I mean, it's really good. And these are the best ones yet. These are hemostats. I like them because they grab the stuff and I those little ones that I've seen others have, I can't open them. I don't have the strength in my hands. I have had carpal tunnel surgery, and this is why I can't shuttle tack, because I cannot hold that pinch with my hands. It just, it won't do it. It spazzes out on me. Okay, hemostats, they grab the thread for you. They work wonders. Yeah, you get the other ones, Angie. I saw them. Pico gauge, back to that. This is a handy hands Pico gauge hhtatting.com. If you buy nothing else, buy that because that will give you a good clue what to work with. Not only that, but it can be your thread gauge. If your thread will go through the five, you can use it on the five. I mean, it will go through on the three, but you really got to fight. Sorry, you got to lick it to make it go. You got to fight to get it through the seven. But it can be done. You need a, um, what do you call the thing? <laughs> a needle threader. Oof. Brain dead, brain dead. Okay, I ain't going to get that through there. i just not that good at it. Okay, use this. These are needle no, these are floss threaders. They're found in the dental department of most stores. Um, they come 50 to a pack. I don't even think it was $3. And believe me, you'll use them. They get used for so many things. Okay, get back in there, please. Now, this is what you can use to thread that through. Get it through that hole first. And then put your thread through and then pull it through. And they will hold up for quite a while, those threaders. Ta-da! So it's also a thread gauge if you need it. It kind of gives you a good clue. Okay. I When you get your needles, here's another good clue. When you get your needles, see this little packet? Well, if you open it up, you got patterns, a couple of little patterns, and you got a whole step on tatting. Barbara Foster put this together, and she is a needle tatter also. That's why most of the books you can get from Handy Hands in the needle section are for needle people. And I am a needle people. Didn't say that right, but you know what I mean. Here's another good clue. On the back is needle size 8 for 130, 70, 60, and 50. Hmm. 
I have this one. I don't use it. I can't really see it. But it says right on there that it's size 70. If I had a needle, I have a needle size 8. But <laughs> I can't. That's just too thin for my my world. Here's 10. This is 10, the one I've been playing with. I mean, can you see the difference between those two? Major difference. Come on, focus camera. Well, at least it's staying still, which is good because it wasn't before. Okay, I actually got dressed and put my makeup on, got my glasses on, all set to do class, but it started wiggling and wobbling and everything else. So my camera is going to stay where it is. These are Clover Pico gauges. What's good about these is if you're working with just one, you can use just one. I know it goes through one of these. It goes through the five. So this little Pico gauge also tells me that I could use a spare needle as the gauge. Is it's still all of five? It won't go through the seven. Nope. Okay. And then there's more, but I think that's a three or nope. Yeah, it's a three or a two. For that thread magnifier, thread magnifier. I don't know what a thread magnifier. Okay. Any questions so far? Now I'm lost in my train of thought. <laughs> Don't take much. Okay. What's a thread magnifier? Oh, I know what you mean. The little with the thread thing and the magnifier is right attached to the tweezers kind of thing. Okay. These are ones I made out of a credit card. Well, it was actually a uh, a Speedway card. It was a um, gas thing. Yes, that could work. But you can also use it for the other kind of pan the other kind of um, Picos too. Okay. Any questions? No pants. Hmm. I don't think I know what those are. <clears throat> <clears throat> I have a little set of pliers. I use them when I need to. They have a, a bare spot in here that doesn't have any teeth. Well, actually, that one don't have any teeth anywhere. I don't see. This one has teeth. But it also has a bare spot, and that's the spot I use to pull my needle through, if I can't do it any other way. If the eye is the same size, I'm watching the chat. Sorry, Tammy. Don't beat me. <laughs> Good thing you don't live next door, huh? Okay, anyway. Um, notebook. Always have a notebook handy so you can keep track of your ideas, your thoughts, your whatever. I use a, an agenda, which keeps my dates and everything in it. I use July as what I'm doing and, you know, separate notes because I'm not using July anymore since it's already long gone. Okay, that's it. I bought a tool stand. I'm going to move the camera, so close your eyes for a half a second. See the tool stand there? I bought this from, oh, um, Annie's Attic. It's a, a crochet place. But anyways, I paid like $9 for it. Back to straight. God, that camera's not going to stay much longer. And I bought this at Walmart for four. Same thing. Same thing. 
anyways so makes sense to me go to walnut <laughs> okay um new tools okay here's another new tool these i got at dollar tree they're called scribes they're also great for pulling out your work when you made a mistake there's a bigger one and then there's a thinner one they do have points they will stab you so I have a needle, um, a knitting needle point, and this is just an earplug thing. I just stab it and put it away. Hmm. What else have I got for tools to play with? Hmm. I had a whole bunch. Beads I got at Dollar Tree. Well, they're in the bag, so maybe they'll look better without. But it's in a plastic container. Get all these beads for a buck. At Dollar Tree. And they're all ones that I'd use. Like the colors, too. Hmm. It's in the craft section at Dollar Tree. Did I answer Jackie's question? I didn't see Jackie's question. If the eye is the same size as the needle, it should go through. If it don't go through, then there's a problem. It's just going to be tighter and tighter and tighter. It's tough to go through. It's not, you got to work it through, but it works. It will go. I mean, it's not, it's not, you're just going to slide it and it's going to go. It's still there. See it? It's still there. I got to pull it through, but I can pull it through. I had two of them here. I lost. There's the other one. See, it's still there. It just hangs there. And you got to yank it through. But it can be yanked. It can be go. It can go through. Okay. No, it doesn't need to go through, Sue, but if you're trying to work with one that won't go through and clearly will never go through, that's a good clue. It's not going to go through your, your stitchers either. Stitches. Example is this one. That eye is so much bigger that it will never go through. And that is not going to go through my stitches either. Easy. It's going to be work. Let me th throw on a couple. I just got a few here. I ain't even going to thread it because it ain't going to go. Well, it went. I lied. Okay, somebody shoot me. Hmm. Maybe with the thread on it, it won't go through. No, yeah, maybe that th thread is just too stretched out. But it won't go through my need needle holder at all. I mean, my needle sizer. Okay, it was just a thought. Try it in the next hole. You mean big, bigger or smaller? It goes through the three neat, nice, and it won't even point in through the seven. Won't even go. Um, they could be the DMC needles that you sent me, but... I have a hard time pulling them through if I can't get it. And I yank my threads tight. I just like handy hands. And if you spend $35, you don't pay shipping. 
if you get the newsletter, that is. And I get the newsletter. Okay, anything else we can discuss? Um, tools. I got the tools. I use pliers a lot because I just need to grab it through. I have a hard time. Crochet hook. It's a small one, small version. I use that to pull through stitches. I do talk too fast, don't I? I have a pair of tweezers I keep on hand for this grabbing something. Again, needle. It's a knitting needle thing from when I used to knit. I don't knit anymore. My hands can't handle it. Um, I guess I'm just about talked out. <laughs> Any questions? Yes, they would vary in millimeters. Teresa says different makers, same size, vary in millimeters. Yes, they would. But I'm a handy hands girl anyway. The DMs. I still would like to see a Jiffy needle. I've not seen that yet. Yes, the gauge was decide, designed for handy hand needles. I don't see. This one on. No. That won't go through anything. Nope. Needle threaders. There's many, many kinds of needle threaders. There's the little green one I just showed you. The, the floss threaders. There's this kind. I don't remember where I got this one, but it, it's big. And it mostly is too big to go through the needles. That's the other needle. Okay. Those are the ones I keep for spare pieces. Okay, that goes through. Okay. And then there's the little ones you can get everywhere. Usually three for a buck or something like that. Thread. Thread comes in all sizes. This is a ball of 10 thread. I think it's... Oh, wait a minute. I do have the slip inside. I don't always, but I did this time. I can't get it out. <laughs> don't that figure. Okay, this is Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. Oh. Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. And it's size 10. C10, big 10. This is the best kind to work with to start with. Reason being is you get a lot of thread for very little money. And when you're starting out, you're going to need it because it just, you're going to throw stuff away and you're going to throw, make mistakes. If you don't, I want to know exactly how you do it without making a mistake. What do I use a spare needle for? Uh, oh, well, that's later in when I do true wings. I really need two needles for that. But I use the spare needle when I need to pull something out if I haven't got, till I got these things. And I like it because it's something to hold on to. It's not just a pin, you know. I had pins handy. Yep. There's two kinds of pins to buy. There's this kind and this kind. This also can make a Pico sizing. Um, you just throw it on your needle and it will come off when you need it to. Okay, that focus is going crazy on me. It's because I'm moving. Yes, some techniques do require two needles. This can be used as a 
paper gauge, I mean a Pico gauge, can't talk. It's just a bobby pin. Can be a Pico gauge. You can use anything. You can use a paper clip. I got different pin, pin sizes. Oh, they're sticking to a magnet I have down here. Um, I keep a ruler handy. Oh, here's another one. Even a piece of plastic can be your Pico gauge. It actually was a cutoff from a, a, God, what do they call that? Cable tie. And I just happened to save it. I'm like, hey, I think I can use that. Um, this is another, um, needle threader. The blue side is a big long one and the pink side is a smaller one. And you're not seeing it, are you? It's not focusing on it. Focus on that. Okay. It's a small one. I've beaten that thing to death already. And here's the longer one. Anything possible can be a Pico gauge. Absolutely. The thing is to be consistent. If you start off using a <clears throat> toothpick, continue. Too bright to focus on. Maybe that needs to move. Is that better? Oh, that's my to stay in the in screenshot. Um, hmm, I give up. It's a short class, I guess. Unless we want to start learning stuff, but I think we're going to do that next week. Get right into it and get going. Um, I can't think of anything else that I need to show you. That I can't show you as we go along. Any questions? What is on the agenda for classes? Oh, yeah. Okay. The next class will be um, the double stitch, the ring, the chain, Pico. The ring and the chain is really the same thing, except you just connect it. Hi, Sandra. Yes, they do. She says they have the ac the actual Pico gauges have holes to find the size of your needles. Yes, but only the handy hands one I know of has it. The um, sparkling light one doesn't have the holes, I believe. I have one somewhere. I'll have to look. But I use it to measure my thread, too, if you need to. Oh, the red background was too. Yeah, coffee straws are good ones too. That red is too bright. Okay. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, I won't use it no more. It was just to hold it steady while it was higher. Okay, any questions? Coffee straws, too bright. Well, actually, that was a piece of, kind of had a little shiny to it anyway, that red piece. So it's down. I actually turned my yellow, light to yellow so it wasn't as bright because it could be brighter. Want to see? Oh, that was off. There it is. That's brighter. Popsicle sticks could work as coffee strawers. Yep, they certainly can. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was 
straightened out finally. The background. The red background or the gray now? Huh. Anyway, okay. Pam is frozen. No, I'm not frozen. I'm about 45 seconds ahead of YS. If there, uh, Joy asked if there are different sizes for picots in with different threads. It depends on the pattern, and usually they will tell you what they want you to make. Yes, it does come with the needles. There's a here's a new one, but it's shiny again because of the lighting. It comes in the handy hand needles. Ah, okay. Any questions? Anything you want me to show you? Um, any <laughs> I'm at a loss. That went quicker than I thought it would. Oh, yes. If you, what I suggest you do is get your needles, get your thread that you're going to use, get a needle anyway, get your thread a notebook, a pen, so you can keep track of stuff that you need to write down, a pair of scissors, the Pico gauge, and this one is fine, just this one, or make your own, whatever way you want to go, it's fine. Um, th this comes with your needle, a crochet hook, you don't need hemostats, but they're going to come in handy. And those I like better than the, the other kind, because the other kind I can't open. I got them. Can't use them. Yes, Eileen's stuff works great for s stiffening. Silicone beads. Never heard of those. I'm going to have to check into that one. Yes, a review for homework. When you're submitting your homework, let me pull out my list because I need to know exactly what I need to tell you. Uh -huh. I'm not great at remembering everything. That's why I copy and do a lot of copy and paste. Okay, homework. When you send in your homework, please include with every entry your name, first and last. Do you know how many Marys we've got? <laughs> Do you know how many, <laughs> whatever, your name is you want it to appear online with your homework, like Laurel is Laurel MC and Flower Joy is Flower Joy. I mean, things, we don't use our whole name sometimes. If you want to, you can. Your email address written out. We have to copy and paste it and sometimes it doesn't come through very nicely <clears throat> when we're trying to copy it from the email you sent in, it wants to send you a new letter. Hemostats are what they use in the hospital for holding the um, stitches thread. They're for thread or they can be used for like fishing line or whatever else you need it. It's got grippers 
You can't see them. Oh, it just don't focus very well. It's got grippers in there and they lock closed. They are surgical clamps. The country you live in, there are some countries we cannot post from. And class date of your homework. So in other words, you need to include what class you're working on. Now all your e class homework from this class comes to me. And the issue we've had in the past is if you're doing my homework with your shuttle, it don't count. It don't count, for, uh, but I can't see what you're doing and I can't see what's wrong if you're not using your needle. Does that make sense? So please include your shuttle or your needle in your picture and then I know what I'm looking at. Okay. Photo of the work in a JP, JPEG format. It doesn't, I don't know about PNG, but that's what they asked for. Designer name and pattern name. It. We respect our designers. We do not steal patterns. We do not allow people to steal patterns. If you steal a pattern, you will be banned. It's just the way it goes. You're okay. So that you need for next week. And I'm stealing Angie's, Miss Angie's idea for homework. Show me what you've got for your tools. So we know where you're at and what you're working with. And it just, I don't know. I like it. I like to see what other people have. Maybe you've got something I need. Jackie, I don't know what to tell you, but it's everybody else is hearing it. So maybe you need to turn your volume up. Huh. Do any more questions? Any ideas, any thoughts, theories? We like unusual tools. Oh, gosh, yes. We like unusual tools. Tell, and tell us what you, where you use them for. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Joanne said, try a headset or earplugs to hear. Jackie's having a problem not hearing the, the class. Any other questions? I'm trying to put that away. Hmm. I would love to teach you how to tat. It's just something I enjoy doing. I enjoy teaching. Well, I'm not so good at the teaching part, but I enjoy doing it. So therefore I can let you know what I do and I will show you how to work it, but get your supplies ready, get it all set up for next week. Cause next week we're going to work. We're going to work your little fingers to the bones. Yes, we are. Okay. I'm putting all my tools away. This I don't even have as a, it's just a prop. It was just to show you the, how big that eye is. Yes, it'll be fun work. Very fun. I love it. My family loves it because I've been sending them out in Christmas cards. I send them all snowflakes and angels and everything. I've been doing it for about five, seven years now. I don't know how many. I'll have to find that out. You want to see some things I made? I got a pile right here. I'm working off a TV tray because my desk broke. So it makes it a little difficult. Okay. This is my dusting of snow snowflake. This is one of the things I use two needles for. That white, yeah, I can see what you mean about the white, Tammy. Here's another one of those. Okay. This was from Kathleen Minetti's, M Minetti, Minelli, I don't know. I think I got it right. Minetti's class. Her pattern. It's a tulip. 
I've done some crosses. I'm not finished with them yet. I got I got to sew them. And I added that little one. You can find that pattern on um, Hilltop Tatter. Okay. Here's the edging from Joelle Paulson called Florette. We did that last year, last session, this year, last session. Okay. This is a mug rug. But this is what we're going to work on this year, I think. It's part of a bigger pattern, but oh well. <laughs> okay. Here's the egg I did for... Oh, Tammy, what was that? Ah, uh, the egg. The egg was um, either International Tat Days or something. I don't remember which one it was. Okay. This, I think, is the mug rug from YouTube. Not sure where I got it. Not sure where it is, but I'm going to have to look it up. But it was one of the first pieces I did, and I can see a few twists, and here's a good one. Here's a twist right there. Priscilla's pattern for International Tat Day, which is April 1st. Okay. I like the variegates. Can you tell? <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, this is Hala. Hala. There's, um, yeah. I can't even talk now. Okay. The Shade Tree Designer Pattern. This is her beginner doily. She did this to torture me. Now see that focus is out again. Why? There it is. See these little things? All the way around? Those are pretty much torture on a needle. But I do them anyway. And you will too. Harola, yeah, she said Hala one time, and I'm not sure which one this one is either, but that's just some of them. Okay, let me put these back. I just happened to have those handy. That was funny. You asked. Oh, and this is the pretty doily. I got that right there. Let me get it. Oh, did I hit the camera? Yes, I did. This is the pretty doily. This is the baby I cut up for last year. I don't know why it twisted because I wasn't paying attention when I closed it. Let me get back to that one. <clears throat> this is one of the first pieces I ever made. That's why I probably. But if you, when you go to do close, if you make sure it's in the right direction before you close it, it will help. I, did, I guess I didn't. Because it, I was new at this. And I'm. This is one of those things that you're going to learn in the long run. Why my work twisted. Yep. Yes, that would be fun. Are you the other H like me? Margaret? Margaret wants to know if it would be fun for us all to have a show and tell someday. Yeah, we could do that. The name is Pretty Doily. It can be found on the Shade Tree Designer Pattern page. Yes. Uh, it's in her photos under Free Patterns. And her pattern is actually in her Dropbox. Okay. It's a compilation. Yes, it was... Okay. See this edging? This is done, the florette edging by Joelle Paulson. This is the same edging that's put on this doily. 
It's just wrapped around. This is the beginning of a cross pattern by Gina. Oh, gosh, I hate this. I don't remember names. Yes, the, the center is a paid pattern. And then the, the, the edging. And then Hala decided to make this pattern. And then we did another edging on it. But there, she's got it with all the permissions to do it. So it's a Gail Weaver. Thank you. I couldn't think of the name. Saved my life. But it come out so pretty. It, it, it's so pretty. I mean, I can't think of another word for it. Can you? Pretty works. I'm making crosses for some of the girls in my church. For their... Um, for their Bibles, but I got like five of them done. Four, four. Yep, four. And I'm using different patterns so I don't get bored. Um, this one is from Rusty Kate. Yeah, Rusty Kate. I don't remember the other ones offhand. I didn't keep track because I wasn't planning on showing them <laughs> Nancy Gale has some lovely patterns in her Etsy shop yes she does okay we well, a few websites to find patterns for the future us newbies have trouble finding yes you do and I was there once so believe me I know um, Barbara Foster of handy hands has a free section on her page there's a needles there's a tatting section and then there's a crochet section so anything there would work um stick within the beginner if you're a beginner because they're they're set up for that reason that's like um the beginner doily well let's just because it says beginner doily doesn't mean it's a beginner for needle tatting. It really is not. It has too many of those little extra pieces on it that I have to use two needles to make it work. Okay, Sandra, I will have a link to that under the video after. After the class comes back up. Um, yeah, we'll do all these links. They'll all be under there. And if you need abbreviations, please go with the Palmetto's one. That's why I was playing with my iPad earlier. Because I wanted to show you where to find that. Okay. Here's the Palmetto's.org. See that? Okay. It's under Favorite Patterns. And it's Glossary of Tatting Terms for our tat days. It comes up as a PDF. And all the ones you might want to ever know are in there. It is one of the best ones you're ever going to have. It gives you how to do things. A little bit of a um, drawing to show you. Is that upside down to you? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, that's how you find it. PalmettoTatters.org. P-A-L-M-E-T-T-O-T-A-T-T-E-R-S dot org. And it's under Favorite Patterns. And there's so much in, that, in there to look at. It really is a great place to play. The Shade Tree Designer Tatting Site. And I got to let my dog go. He's going to drive me to drink. Or he'll leave me a present on the floor. I'll be right back. Oh, it's 4.51 anyway. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad it isn't upside down. I thought it was. Yep, the yes, it is on the website. Sue Fuller says it's on the website. 
Okay. I have got to get better organized. Oh. Wish he could reach the door handle himself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sh I can show you the Shade Tree Designer site too with the iPad. It's on Facebook. Sorry, through Facebook. No, well, thank you. You've already put that in there. <laughs> Yes, we will put the link later. Okay, never mind. And anything else? Any more questions? Anything I can help you with? Feel free to email in. I will address every issue. And if you need a private lesson, we can do that too. I've done that before. That's actually fun. Not a problem. That's that works wonders. Um, what about two needles? Nancy, how new are you? That makes a difference. How, how, okay. Yes. Um, you hen, you you and I don't know how to say that. Sorry if I beat up your name. You upload homework by sending the photo, a picture, to the the online tatting class at gmail.com. And if it's from my class, then you put Pam or Needle in the subject line. Nancy, two questions about the needle. That is really more and more advanced thing it's for true needles shuttle tatters make true needles constantly we do self-closing mock rings constantly as a needle tatter but when we turn around and go to the so to the true needle the true ring it usually requires two needles to work with when you get the two needles Yes, you get one of each size in the set. It, yeah, that's either that or you buy two of the size you want. I thought I said true rings. Okay. Yeah, you send the homework in on a picture. That's all it requires. And then we upload it to the channel, the the homework page which again is on from you can find that from our georgiasites.com page and when it, your po homework gets posted if your email comes in the thing like it's supposed to then melanie will turn around and send you a link as to your homework up there on the page oh kimberly did i say hi to you before No, you don't need another needle yet. No. No, you don't. And you can do it without using another needle. I just, I can show you that too. Let me get to it. It's that snowflake again. I get two of them. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is exactly the difference. This one was done with the true ring see this chain this uh you can't see focus oh, it's white and there's a problem with the white on the screen let me turn the light off see if that helps yeah actually it does i don't know if it does to you okay see this too this chain it's nice and smooth and now the dog's barking. That's because I did this with two needles. This chain is broken. 
See that chain's broken? Because I did it with one needle. That's the only difference. It's just a matter of a preference. Okay, turn the light back on. Woo! That was bright. Because if you don't use the two needle for a floating ring, then you have a broken chain. And that's what the idea of having the floating ring is to make the ring look like it's floating on top of the chain, not in it. Does that help? Yes. And I like mine to look shuttle tad. And I got to go let that monster in again. On you, boss. Okay, back again. Yes, I'll give you a treat. You went out and you did your business instead of on the floor. <laughs> okay. No, you can't. It takes a long time. Uh, Sandra Fig says you can't learn every technique in the beginning, in the first beginning class. No, you can't. You're welcome, Kimberly. Um, did that help you, Nancy, with the two needle bit? Hmm. Oh, you're welcome, Fla Joy. I keep wanting to call you Flower. <laughs> That's the first word I see. Uh, Joy says it's a good illustration of the differences. Thank you. Uh, it is. It is very much. I have it up on my Hilltop Tatter page, too. But the one I did with, with the broken chain, I took one took one of the pieces out and made it five because it made it look more like a star than a rain than a snowflake rule of thumb snowflakes are six stars are five i just did it and you're not supposed to do that but i did it anyway sorry Halen knew i did that That's fine, Mary Lou. I don't have a problem with that. I just want to show you both ways so that you can make your own decision. See, the first year, <laughs> I've used the same pattern for two years in a row with my family. I made the first one, and I did them all with the true rings and the two needles. So the first year, they got snowflakes. The second year, they got stars. <laughs> And it was all the same pattern. I love the pattern. It works out so nice. And less call for questions is right. It's five o'clock. It's any questions? Any questions? Yeah, it's only one short, one point short. But it's a cute little pattern. Yeah, one less leg, exactly. Sandra says one less leg. Stars would be faster. Any questions? Okay, well, it's been really nice. Thank you for coming. And don't forget to like the video. Please do. Even if you don't, just like it anyway. Gets us up there so that we get more notifications and more people hear about us and i will add the links before under the class if tammy doesn't do it i will do it and then happy tatting may all your threads make beautiful lace and never tangle yeah that would only work <laughs> okay we'll see you next week monday is beginner shuttle at 7 p.m eastern standard time Tuesday is intermediate with, so, okay, beginner shuttle is with Angie Kovarovic. 
Tuesday is intermediate shuttle tatting with Sue Fuller. Wednesday is advanced tatting with Tammy Montgomery. And Thursday is me. Um, only one at seven is beginner. Tuesdays is at four. Wednesdays is at four. And Thursdays is at four. Good evening, everyone. And have a great week. And we will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.